when you run an ad without a landing page, this is the one that you would run. But the reason why I don't do it this way is because there's just more steps involved. So if you're not even knowing too, too much about Facebook ads, this part's going to be even more confusing and I'll, and I'll explain why. Um, and, it, and it's, it's one reason why I, I don't even do it myself, but when you don't have a landing page, you would run a lead generation ad. And all that is, is you're using Facebook's landing page. So as people see your ad, let me show you like just a random ad. As I'm scrolling through the news feed and I'm just seeing what my friends are posting and I'm seeing what everyone's up to. And then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. This is an ad. So when we click on learn more, what I'm saying, like nine out of 10 people that run Facebook ads, if I click on learn more, they're taking me to a landing page. Right. Right. So the one person out of 10 is using Facebook's landing page and that would be lead generation. So if you don't have a landing page, lead generation is what you would do. Um, now the reason why I don't do it that way and the reason why most people don't do it that way is because when you have the learn more button right here and we click on it and we go to your landing page, the benefit of taking us to a landing page is the fact that this person comes here, they click on the yellow button, they enter their name and email or name and phone number or whatever you're requesting, they click send it and automatically that lead is in your CRM and that CRM automatically emails them a buyer or seller guide. So as you start to run ads, you wanna start talking about the benefits of selling or talking about the benefits of buying or you're running an ad on a listing. But if you don't have a listing, then we have to entice people somehow, some way, and that's going to either be talking about buying or selling. And at the end of that, I would say video, but if we're not doing video, this person right here is doing an image. So if, if you were just going to, if you were going to just run image ads, then you would have to write out the text. This person is doing an image ad and look at how much text they're writing out. Like they're writing out all this damn text and believe it or not, people do read it, but they're writing out all this damn text because they're posting a simple image. I'm a fan of video because if I can just say all that crap in my one minute video and people will actually see my face on my video, that's a hundred times more effective. But if a person is not going to do a video, then okay, there's an image, maybe a headshot of Kimberly, and you're writing out all this stuff to get me to click learn more, to go to your one page, to download your seller guide. Okay. So I don't mind trying to do a seller guide this mm -hmm. week or something. Um, I do have a listing and three buyers. So obviously I'd like the listing to also be in Let's run that then. Okay. We got to run. Careful, okay. What's that? Um, nothing um so that is something that i want to be able to do is get that going especially since i've committed to my clients that i will do maximum you know for them let's focus on that then kim forget about forget about a seller guide if you have a listing we need to be running ads on that listing but but here here's my point so so nine out of ten people will run the learn more button to a landing page uh -huh. since you don't have a landing page then it would be lead generation. And that's when you're using Facebook's landing page. But the reason why I normally don't do that, you're, in your case, you may have to do that. But the reason why I don't do that is because as I use Facebook's landing page, it's gonna look just like this. We click on learn more, Facebook's landing page pops up. I enter my name and email into Facebook's landing page and now that lead is in my business page. But I then have to export that lead out of my Facebook business page and put it into some type of CRM. That's physical manual clicking that I don't want to worry about. And then if I have to email that person, I have to autom I have to manually email that person when I don't want to do that either. I want to automate the whole damn thing. But the original plan was, and I forgot, what did you call it that you were looking for from Metrolist? What was it called? I was, I was, asking if we can put our Facebook pixel pixel that's it. yeah the pixel because to run ads to an actual page 
Facebook needs to track that and they track it with what they call a Facebook pixel. Okay. So for example, I click on learn more. I see this guy's ad. I click on learn more. I go to his web page and up here, because I have this little plugin up here at the top, this plugin lets me know who is tracking me with their Facebook pixel. So this guy okay. right here, I don't know who the hell he is, but I know he's tracking me with his pixel and nor do I, nor do I care. I don't care. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't care if he's tracking me. That doesn't, all that does, it, it, it gives Facebook the data. It gives this guy the data on not exactly name and phone number of who's landing here, but it gives him data to know that people actually landed here. And so what he does with that data, this guy over here, this guy freaking James, the, 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 the reason why the pixel is so important is because now James, he knows that people landed here because Facebook is tracking it with the pixel. So what James is going to be able to do is because I landed here, but I didn't give up my email. But what James is going to be able to do is he's going to be able to take that data of me landing here and run Facebook ad number two, targeting me again. So as we run ads on a listing, people are going to click learn more. They come over to your page. Some are going to enter their name and number. Some are not. The pixel allows me to track those people. And, 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 and when I have another listing, maybe I'll target them again. Or if I'm running Facebook ad number two and showing a video this time of the listing, I'll target them again because those are people who landed here, but didn't give up their name and number but they landed here because there was some interest. Why in the hell would you see my ad click, learn more on a property come over here, but all of a sudden you didn't fill it out and that's fine. You have to understand shit happens and you know, maybe the kids are freaking crying or dinner's burning and people, they land here, but they got to go. That's a drop off rate. And, and, and when you run ads, there's a drop off rate, but that's why the pixel is so important because we want to be able to track those drop off rates to show them the next ad. Okay. And the pixel, so have you had it? Because obviously you've done these, you know, a thousand times. Yeah. You get them from the MLS providers from other locations? No, no. The pixel is in your Facebook account. Everyone, all of us that have Facebook, we all have a, a pixel as well. But, okay, but not so all of us. How come I can't get mine? You can. Okay. So how come we can't just do an ad with that? Because we don't have a web page. Okay. So that's why I'm, that's the language. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. web page still has to come from MetroList, which they did provide one, but I need the pixel from MetroList to connect to the pixel at Facebook. Is that no, the no, no, you need you need your Facebook pixel on that web page. Okay, gotcha. That's it. Okay. So um, so yeah, that was that's what what I wanted you to email them is is your actual pixel. And they're not responding. Yeah, because they're freaking idiots. That's why, like that's, there is no other explanation. Like okay, there's, so there's another thing. We have Bouge through Remax. I might be able to solve something with that. Um, okay. So I did, cause I did reach out to tech support. Of course that took forever too. I could have baked like a dozen apple pies and mm -hmm. they said, oh, your ticket. Okay. Thank you. I want to say they do have a website for each and every Remax agent through Bouge. Mm -hmm. But if I have that, then I need to put my pixel on that. And I'm pretty sure they're more adept than MLS. Yes. Okay. Now, so let me shoot for that. Yes. Yeah, because it's it. more intricate and keeps the language within my name, my company, mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. broker, all of that. Yes. Okay. Now, one, one other thing to mention, make sure that whatever Remax page you're referring to is a web page not a website. A web page is one damn page. Just like the one that I clicked on with James. I click on his ad. He takes me to a web page. He doesn't take me to a website. So with Remax, you guys have a million things going on. You have a full blown website. Okay. We don't, don't want to click learn more and go to a website. You want to click learn more and go to a web page where there's only one damn button and one button only. So for example, here's an example of James's. Here's ex an example of mine when it comes to a listing. If I saw your ad for that listing, I click on learn more. I'm coming to one page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. So I'm not even giving up all the MLS information right now. 
I'm asking for their name and email first. I'm giving them a, a headline. I'm giving them some bullet points on the property. View all 17 photos now. I'm asking for the lead. Send me the details. Okay. And how do I do that? That's that's a web page. So that that's a landing page, and that's an email auto autoresponder, an email automation. Okay. Because once that lead comes in, that lead has to get an email on that listing right away. So that's what most websites don't provide. Like Coldwell, KW, like Remax, like all you guys have a standard website with a ton of information. Yeah. Information doesn't get leads. I know. So I need, I, to, I need to take them to one web page where I can get that lead and then I can email them all this other crap. I don't mind hand doing the follow up if it, or even if it auto sends on a page, I just need to figure out how to have it come to a landing page. I'm going yeah. through my yeah. emails on my phone because I'm scrolling out a week ago somewhere. I know they sent me my response through Bouge. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, again, if, if you can't get the landing page down, then, then that, then, then no big deal. You'd have to go with lead generation. You'll just use Facebook's lead form. And no, you I like then, the other one. You would then have to manually just email that lead. Yeah, I like That's, the other one. Yeah. Even so, if I have a landing page, it's just a page. And even if Remax just does a page, um, we have to use what they've created with my face on it. How do you connect it to where it automatically says you want more information? Is that through me setting up that page or? Do you, do you see what I mean? Because I already yeah. have, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Forget the question. Just, just reach out, reach out to Remax, and just say, "Hey, do we, do we have access to landing pages?" And and they'll know exactly what the hell you're asking. Okay. Well, because the only reason why a person wants or needs a landing page is to capture leads. And like, where do I put that landing page when I get it? That is what's linked to the Facebook ad. So that's what, that's what happens when we click learn more. When we click learn more, we go to your landing page. I know. I mean, but how do I create my ad? Where do I put my, my landing page when I want to run an ad? It would be, here's, here's the, let me start from the beginning. As you're up here on your page, you click on create, you click on add, and that's going to bring you, and you're going to do this from a computer, not from your cell phone. I remember. So, so from a computer, you're going to click on, you're going to click on that. And then you'll click on this link right here, add account, click on that. And then you're going to simply come to the dashboard and click on the green button. That's the setup. Okay. So I clicked on the green button and it brings me here. What you mm -hmm. always have to do is check this box for housing. If you don't do that, that's step one. If you don't Where's do that, that? Then, well, all that is, is a special ad category. Facebook has these different categories for different okay. businesses. Got it. So your real estate, so your housing, you have to check that box. And if you don't, that ad will get rejected no matter what. You have to check housing. But to answer your question, step one is the, is the campaign, the objective. If you're doing a landing page, then it's conversions. If you're not doing a landing page, then it's lead generation. Okay. Okay. So that's step one. Step two is when you come in here and you set up the ad, the targeting, the, the budget, um, and all that, that all happens in step two and just click and just make sure you, you shade both of these gray, both of these should be gray. And then you click continue. And then we go to step two. It's in step three where you simply get the link to your webpage and you're going to enter it in over here. So text and link. So once you get to step three, the ad, that's where you'll enter the link for your website, for your web page. Mm -hmm. And so when they click on learn more, they're taken to that web page, whatever you provide. And that's and that, and I three. download that page in text and links. No, you're not going to download any page. You're going to simply just like, for example, up here, as I um, have this link over here, this web page, here's my landing page. And up here is the link. So mm -hmm. Facebook just needs to, just needs to, you, we need to copy that link. Okay. I got you. Copy we're going to bring it over it. here. 
and we're okay. gonna once we get to the third step we're gonna put it in over here okay so again whether it's whether it's a landing page that you're gonna get access to which i don't think you are so i'm 99 percent sure that you're not going to get a landing page why so with, with that being said it'd be it would be lead generation you would just have to run lead generation ads to capture lead and and you'd run it on that on that listing i would for sure run it on that listing but here's what you want to do also post it on your business page so the ad is the post on your business page that's where it goes first so go to your business page and what's your business page? Kimberly sells for you. Kimberly sells for you. This is where the ad goes first. So you simply come to the page and post as you, as if you would post anything, it goes here first. Okay. This is where you would, you would, you would post it right out the text, put the image, the video, whatever that goes there first. And then, and then you come over here and you can run lead generation. Well, it's kind of my plan. I already assumed that, but at the moment I won't have pictures and videos in until Wednesday. That's how come I was trying to hopefully have, because it's the first week of June, have something else running today. Okay. So <laughs> here's what I would suggest. Do you have any video? Are you doing video at all? My gimbal just arrived yesterday. So no, I don't have one. I'm, okay. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's what I would highly, high. are you going to be doing video just with you on camera? Like either, yep. yes, either. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here's the first video, Kim. Bottom line, here is the freaking first video. You need to pull out your damn phone and just simply introduce yourself. That's video number one. You got to pull it out. Hey, hey, this is Kim, you guys. I know I've been out here forever. I know most of my neighbors don't even freaking know me. I want to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about my background, my experience, and what I do in the real estate market for buyers and sellers in our local community. A simple intro video. That's what I would do first if I were you. Okay. And then, and then, in the next Wednesday, as you get the images or 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 a video of the listing, then run that. But here's and what's going to happen. the video just post it like a regular posting. I don't need to do an ad. Is that what no, you're I, no? You want to do an ad for sure. Okay. Yeah. So under that, I would do it and put it into lead generation. No, no. Good question. That one is video, video number news. one. Okay. That's ad number one, and that is video views. Okay. But here's what's powerful about this strategy is the fact that you pull out your phone, you do a simple intro video on you, your background, your experience, your passion, why real estate, why Remax, why you love helping people. It could be a, a simple one to two minute video of Kimberly. You run it as video views. And the reason why that's so powerful is because if you literally started that, let's say you started that, let's say you started that tomorrow. It went out at 7 a.m. local time on Saturday morning. You run that for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, let's see, Saturday, Saturday, let's say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's four days. If you ran that for four days, you would literally have a couple thousand people in your local area who saw it. What you do with the next ad, which is ad number two, and that would be lead generation. Now we have images of the listing. Now we have a video of the listing, whatever. Now it's lead generation. But what you're going to do is you're going to retarget everyone who watched your first video. Okay. I gotcha. Now, again, and that, that, that's just giving me, that's giving you the, the overview from a 30,000 square foot view. There's way more that goes into it, but that's what the strategy is. Yeah, so that's why I'm that's saying I'm going to need a teacher to do these damn things. Like that's what that whole coaching was all about. Cause we're going to spend some time. This is some time. Like you're not going to learn this stuff overnight. I'm trying to, um, and the other is too, then, cause I know we were still just trying to finish up on the fact that I didn't have a pixel. Um, if I do get a pixel from Bouge, Remax, all that you said might just be a site, not no, an it's actual not, It's not a pixel from them. You already have a pixel. Uh, I mean, the other way around is what I meant, yeah. that I need to have a, a website from them, that pixel will land to my website. But technically, if that is the case, and I don't want to bring them to a site because you just said almost all uh, brokers they create nothing that a consumer can fill out or to do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's just information. Mm -hmm. So what was the original plan to have a pixel land on a site if it can't do anything? Well, one plan is for the fact that you can track everyone who lands here. Okay, got it. That's and what then, I and then rerun, which is, which is what Facebook calls retargeting. 
you can retarget sure. everyone who lands on that page, but at the same time, that's not where you'd be running the ad to anyways. Okay, so, but so, I just was trying to do the math on, I got it to, to tracking purpose. Yeah, right? yeah. To, it, and then to retarget, to resend it. So they see it more than once. Now I understand the purpose of that. Um, yeah, they see it more than once, but it, it's, it's different ads. So for example, if you ran an ad of, your, of you introducing yourself, people are gonna see that video we want to show them again the next ad so we can retarget on video people who watch the video and then we can retarget people who land on the page okay 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 well, i will work to do that and i guess um I'll see what i can get out of bouge and uh, but at the moment it'll be video views then it will be lead generation and i hope we'll have everything in from them by wednesday do a simple intro video of you introducing yourself and then schedule, schedule another call with me. I'll help you run that ad. A quick question too, before we hang up. So I have three buyers and how do, have you seen, how does someone promote the fact that they've, you know, I, I only see that they will, people will promote, yay, somebody else, they got keys, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you see how someone creates ads to say, you know what, um, the buyer's in process, right? Takes patience and care, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that type of thing, right? If you, I don't know how did you create an ad that I still have business. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. It, well, first of all, it all comes down to number one, video. Okay. If, if, you can, if you can portray that experience via your one minute video, that's number one. Okay, so like showing them houses, take a small little video of, you know, here's a couple of pics of a couple of properties and, you know, there is inventory um, for buyers, right? My buyers today, if you want to be one that needs help, blah, 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 that kind of thing, right? Yes. And at the okay. end, yes, that, that's, that's the video. That's the one minute video. It's a Facebook ad targeting your farm. But okay. here's the catch. Here is the bait is what I call it. At the end of that video, you're saying, and hey guys, by the way, I put together a 2020 buyer guide that's going to walk you through these basic steps. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. Can't wait to talk to you. So at the end of your videos, there's a call to action to click learn more. Okay. That's why the web page is so powerful because I have to take them here so they can fill out the form and I can automatically email them a buyer guide. Yeah. No one's going to just site, comment. That site you keep pulling up is what I, not the actual house, but the data process right there. That's what I want. Yes. Like, like that, that's the strategy. I should say the strategy is to educate me with that video. So if your pro, if your buyer is in, is in escrow and you guys are going through the process, talk about that, educate that, that becomes video content. And, and at the end of that video, if you were also saying, if there was also a call to action, hey guys, if you guys are interested as well, I put together a free buyer guide because what every agent says, hey guys, and if you want more information, comment below or send me a message or, they, or, or they'll try to put their phone number. And, and, and it's like that person, that agent is just pus, putting it on social media when 99% of their friends live across the country. Ain't no one calling you. But if I ran that as an ad and there's a learn more button, and I was giving away something of value, a free PDF, a free buyer's guide, that's when we start capturing leads. And if I'm running that as an ad targeting my farm, that's when I'm capturing leads. Right. You can't just post it on social media, no one cares. I gotta target my area, but I can't just do it once. I gotta run an ad every day. And it's not a different ad every day, it's one video ad per week. I'm telling you four a month, one per week. So either we're going to run a listing for a week or we're going to run it until, a until the damn thing sells or we're going to run an ad on educating people on the process of buying if that's what you're going after is buyers. Then, then, then start doing a weekly video educating, the, educating people on the process of buying. And it, but, but all I'm saying, at the end of that video, there's a call to action to click learn more to download your free 2020 buyer's guide. That's how you're going to get people to click learn more. That's how you're going to capture leads. So That's even the other you, thing too, I forgot to get the buyer's guide out of um, e Remax. E even if you were just running ads, 
why the hell would anyone want to click learn more, especially if it wasn't for a listing? If, if it's for a listing, of course, they're interested in the listing. But if we're not running an ad on that, I'm telling you, we're running an ad every week as if it was our religion. So that means if we don't have a listing, we need to have something to give. Mm -hmm. On a listing, I'm giving you information on the listing. That's what you're interested in, interested in. But if I don't have a listing and you're watching my videos on me educating you on the process of buying and all the shit we go through, I need to also give you something in that case as well. And that's what I'm calling a PDF. That's what I'm calling a free download. That's what I'm calling your AKA buyer guide. So you're saying that at the end of the video, at the end of every video that you do from this point on, there needs to be a, a, a call to action at the end either. And, and that call to action is, Hey guys, don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free buyer guide. See you guys there. That is the last 10 seconds of every single video you put out from this day forward. Mm -hmm. with the intention of that video targeting your farm. The hell with social media. We're running ads. We need to run an ad directly to that farm and we need to do one every week. So this becomes very simple for someone like you to really get it because all I'm saying is drop a video per week. That is it. That is your only job. That is it. One post per week. That is it. I wish it was my only job, David. It is, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because it, make, it just makes your, the rest of your job a million times easier. Because you got to understand, that video is running 24-7. So while you're dealing and juggling everything with your family, with business, with BS going on, like as you're juggling the life, this message, this video, this ad is running. And unlike this boring-ass image that I don't know who the hell is who, in your case, it'd be a video of Kim educating us on real estate and she's giving me something for free. Click learn more. And she's taking me to a web page so people are filling it out while you're sleeping. Well, that's what I want. So I, I know that's what every agent wants. And no one's running the ads. That's the problem. They're posting over here on social media, getting 40 people to view it in 12 months. I need 400 people to view it in my local area by tonight. I wonder what would happen if I ran this particular video way back then because I was very naive. Well, it would what be would it, happen because that house was over a million dollars. At a $50 budget, I'll tell you exactly right now what would happen. At a $50 weekly budget, you would have had 5,000 people view it that all live in that area. They would have um, clicked learn more. They would have come to your page. They would have entered their name and email. Let's just say 1%. Let's say 1% of 5,000 would mm -hmm. have gave up their information. That's the okay. difference, man. And I'm okay, telling well, you, I, I'd spend more taking you out to lunch today than I would have spent on that whole entire damn campaign. Well, let me try my little sample video thing with just a, a stick. No, you're not going to try it. You're going to freaking knock it out the park. You're going to crush it. Keep it simple. Pull out your cell phone and just go on a rant. Who the hell is Kim? That's all it yeah. is, man. And, and also, when you're pulling out your phone, make sure you hold your phone horizontal, widescreen, landscape, not vertical. Not, that's for Instagram. If you're posting on Instagram, that's vertical shot for Instagram. But this is Facebook video. So hold the phone horizontal because it's, it gives that wide view, that widescreen view. That's a that's better view. funny you say that because, you know, I am totally hate being on camera and I look at everybody's stuff and they all look like, Freaking drone aerial view of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Who the fuck's taking your picture from up on the ceiling? You know. <laughs> Keep it simple, man. Keep it simple, and 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 just know, just know that the people that are going to be seeing that video, mm -hmm. the more raw, the more authentic, the more your freaking phone is shaking, the more it looks real is what gets people to engage. It's that realness. So don't forget that, that's, that's number one. And then number two is that 99.999% of the people that are gonna see it because you're gonna run an ad on it, don't even know you. I know. So it's not like your freaking ex-in-laws, your cousins, your girlfriend, none of those people are gonna even see the damn video. You're running an ad. You're targeting people in your local backyard that don't even know you. So if you're going to judge me, okay, at least it ain't my cousin judging me like shit. You know what I mean? Like it's people that don't even know me. 
So well, that's the, there is quite a few people that do know me that have now linked into my business page, which is no. But but, but they're not going to see it. it. They're not <laughs> even going to see it because really. The, but, Yes, because the thing about the business page is that as you come over here and you just post it organically, Facebook is only showing it to 1% of the people anyways. That's why you absolutely have to run an ad. Okay. Because the 1% are only seeing it, plus the likes, they live all over the, all over the, all over the place. Gotcha. Okay. So, so, so the only people who are really going to see it are the people that I'm targeting with my damn ad. And none of those bozos freaking know me. So I don't give a damn if they, if they, they're not going to, they're not going to know anything. They're not going to know you're nervous. They're not going to know your camera shy. They're not going to know any of that shit. They don't know you. And you gotta, you gotta keep in mind. And I, and I'm sure I touched on this the first time you are a licensed real estate professional. I don't think you understand. I don't think you realize that you literally know more about the buying and selling of residential real estate than 99% of the entire country. I don't think you understand that. Um, Unless you someone... I spoke about that and I actually ran into somebody from Facebook from San Francisco in the parking lot, a grocery outlet this week that recognized my face and uh, it's solely because I didn't have a mask on, mm -hmm. but uh, we were talking about exactly that one line and it's the, the tables have turned. It's the roles have reversed. It used to be you got a lot of work because of what you know. Right. I got an education. I got lots of business and had a great career for what you know. But now technology has turned it around to who you know. And so now I have to keep up with the youngins and try and be popular. And I've never tried to run a popularity race before. It's not it's not popularity. Where I was going at the feet of though someone that's not trying to always be in the front of social media. Yes. But at the same time, we're targeting. And all I was going at with that, all I was going, all, all, where, where I was going with, with what I was saying was the fact that you can put out anything on video and 99% uh -huh. of people are going to believe you because you're the licensed professional. You're the one that practices real estate. You know more about this stuff than 99% of people. So it, it, it almost comes down to, it doesn't even matter what the hell you're saying in that video. Because you're a real estate professional, people are going to automatically believe you. You know more about all of us. You, you know more about this stuff than all of us. Unless a person has been practicing real estate for 55 years, unless maybe a Robert Kiyosaki that knows so much damn stuff about real estate, unless you run into one of those types of characters, then, then, then someone might call you out and, and, and say, hey, Kim, that ain't true. Mm -hmm. But 99.99% of everyone that's going to see that damn video, we put you on a pedestal. You know more about this stuff than I do. How, how dare I question you on the process of buying or the process of selling? So that's why I'm saying you don't have to worry about the butterflies, fear, not having the confidence. That's what I'm trying to crush. I'm trying to crush gotcha. all those insecurities because the people that are seeing your damn video, you know more about this stuff than we all do. And people sure. are going to respect you because of that. Well, It'd be different if you're targeting a bunch of real estate agents that have been practicing real estate for 55 years. It'd be different if you're targeting them. And now, now I'm a little, you know, nervous on what I may say because, yeah, they've been practicing for 55 years and I might say something stupid that they might call me out on. Dude, you're, you're targeting the average consumer that don't know shit about real estate. So talk about anything. Talk about anything. Educate us. Educate me on the process of buying. Educate me on the process of selling. But before you pitch yourself, introduce yourself. Right. That's ad number one. Hey guys, I already know what I'm going to say. I do. I already know what I'm yeah, going to say. Yeah, I know I you do. do it. I know yeah. you do. Pull out your cell phone, whether it's in your house, whether it's in your, your spot, wherever the hell you, you go outside for a walk, whatever. Keep it stupid simple because people love that. That's social media. This ain't Channel 7 News and you're running a commercial. Nothing professional about it. I'm telling you, get that done and then set up another call with me and I'll help you run that first ad. That's video views. Let's run that ASAP. Okay. I'll have it for tomorrow. And then hopefully if I don't screw this up and I figure out what I got, um, I'm going to link in with you and schedule for Thursday in case I can't get my ad up on Wednesday, which I'm hoping in, they'll have pictures for me in 24 hours. In, anyway. in this whole entire meantime, that video should be running. Okay. So, so, so if, you're, if, if you know for a fact that you'll get that video done today, 
then schedule a call today for tomorrow because you have to schedule a day in advance on my calendar. So go back to my calendar later on today and schedule a call for tomorrow. If you know you're going to do the video today, if not, then freaking take your time. I don't care. It's up to you, but just schedule it today for tomorrow. If you, if you can, I'll make it happen. All right, okay. Kim. All right. Thanks. Sounds David. good. I'm so proud right. of you. You're going to make it happen. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm excited for you. Let's do it. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.